guys, welcome back to Building a Better South. And you guys loved the update last week and news of uh, our new home behind us at Blackberry Hill Road. And today we're going to show you a little bit more about the inside. But first, what are we going to talk about? Right, so the shutters got installed, which I absolutely love. They are just another layer and another architecturally interesting detail that I love about this home. Um, I loved it before the shutters. I even told Jason, I was like, oh, I don't even know. Does it need the shutters? And then we pulled up and I saw the shutters and I literally started crying. They're just so beautiful. I love them. Well, and I ordered up the perfect clouds and sky for the film shoot Thank today. Thank you. That's so yeah. kind of you. And yeah. uh, so what color did we go with the shutters in the front door? Yeah, so we ended up going with sleepy blue and that is yeah oh, it's so kinda, relaxing it is it's like a lazy porch <laughs> color so um it's a sherman williams color and i love it i think it, it goes well with our kind of off-white again we went with the alabaster is the is the pink color that we chose for the exterior brick and the siding and i think it just they are both complement each other really nicely yeah and before we go inside i want to talk through one little detail gretchen got her shutters and one thing I love are brackets. And when we were working with C3 architects on the design of this home, mm -hmm. we wanted to add just a couple layers. So we went with a 24 inch deep overhang on the, uh, where the cedar shingles are on the roof. So we got these cool, simple brackets there. And then we did a little bump out bay on the boys' bedrooms upstairs. Yeah. Tuck just a small little bracket with just the slightest curve there and then another one upstairs. And I think just those couple little details. And just, the shutters. And the shutters. And, and, I, and I do love that the shutters are half louvered and half paneled. That was oh, something we that went. That was what I wanted, right? <laughs> something we went back and forth <laughs> on. Jason wanted just the full louvered. I really love the half and half. I feel like it's the best of both worlds. And honestly, so I think. So we just went half Z. <laughs> yeah, half we went half Z's. <laughs> And really, I think that's the story of the interior of this house, which we're going to show you guys. It's kind of the best of both worlds right, with right, Jason on, and I. On. So come on in and we'll show you more. Oh, and we have the gas lights uh, lit today. Yes. Another welcoming Southern tradition that we love. Yeah. Ladies first. Thank you. Welcome inside the kitchen. So hence you see where the blue came from. So we decided to use sleepy blue. That is the entire kitchen color. So I think we started off, we were debating, do we just do the island and do we do the perimeter? Do we do the lowers? Do we do the lowers and the uppers and a white? And I loved this color so much. And again, in this home, we have a ton of natural light and windows that I really thought that this space could take a blue kitchen. Yeah. And um, the marble breaks it up. And of course, this beautiful Schumacher wallpaper, which we currently have in our powder room. I loved it so much. It's now made its, made its way into the kitchen. Yeah. You want to talk about our stove that we're going to cook so many fabulous meals on here? Yeah. So again, we're, we're going with the cafe line. So we are going to have a 48 inch range from them in the matte white and it's it's coming hopefully next week and all white new, new yeah so new they are going to be introducing this particular stove coming sometime later this fall we don't have the exact date so i'm excited to show that to you guys when that comes in which it's yeah, so the coming top soon will have the white that yeah. little brass will really pop yes and then so over here in the kitchen we did a marble backsplash again, which we currently have at our Edgewood home, which we both love. But this time we decided to add a little marble shelf. Yeah, so the purpose of that shelf is when I'm, you know, preparing those uh, family meals, we take our fine Italian spices. Yeah. And, you know, you just sprinkle them on. And I'm sure we'll have a prettier bottle to yeah. work from. But. So the idea is the shelf is to house. We've got like the big pepper grinder. So pepper, salt, and a couple of little olive oil. So now I'm on the hunt for some really pretty bottles since they're going to be sitting above the stove. So just easy access. We love the look. I love the cleanliness of the marble that you can just wipe it down. And it is a honed marble, which we went with this time. So we've got some additional storage. Um, got some little spice racks and dividers on either side. Here's the spice, leaner spice drawer. Tell them about your hardware, because everybody's been commenting about yeah. your fun hardware that you have. 
So I, I searched high and low for this hardware because again, I wanted this home to have kind of that old school charm to it. So it looked like it's something that you would find in an older home. I think living in Edgewood now, I've really come to appreciate older homes. And so, yeah, so I, I found these online at uh, actually House of Antique Hardware. It's appropriate name. Yes. And you've got yeah, lots of different styles. And yeah, so we and have yeah several different pools and styles. So I did the ring pool on the door. I've got this knob, and then as you'll see in the island, I did a whole nother different pool, but they're all in a brass finish. And we've grown to like our mantle style hoods recently. Yes, so I love the simplicity of a mantle style hood. There's just something very classic about it and very clean line. I imagine a really pretty blue and white platter tray hanging above it. Me too. I know, it's just what you imagine. This is the kitchen of Jason's dreams, but you, but you did dress for it today uh, and I appreciate hey, that. Yeah, even blue shoes. Um, so we did do our favorite little hidden compartment, so. For your home goods <laughs> Yeah, I haven't actually been there really since they've opened back <laughs> up. Um, for a microwave, but you could always use this um, to put like a coffee bar station if you're building and doing a project. We've got lots of storage up here, oversized doors. As you can see, they're the two panel, which we've come to love using those. So we'll probably put our plates and whatnot there. We've just got additional storage for our bigger pots, which is close to, to the stove right there. We did do a built-in monogram refrigerator this time. So as you can see, here's the doors to be put on. Did some oversized hardware. Oh, yeah. Can you go ahead and get that on? Yeah. We're on a timeline here. Again, just utilizing that extra, which is typically a paneled out space because you have to have that extra space for when you're opening the refrigerator. Typically people just panel it out and it's empty, but we've opted for additional storage. That's perfect for Yeti cups, whatnot, yeah. can slide right back in that area. Before we go this way, I think we've got to go on to the... Uh... To the kitchen island, yeah. yeah. So here we have a big island and then we have, I think probably my favorite part of the kitchen and it's because we've got this beautiful arched window. Yeah, so that was kind of kind of your vision. And then we had some taller ceiling heights on half the kitchen mm -hmm. and couldn't figure out, I really wanted tall ceilings in here. They're, the base is 10, but we had this half portion and we kind of came up with the idea of doing a little barrel vault in there, which was great until it came to putting lights up. Yeah. They were like, oh, it was going to put the lights in an awkward spot over the island. And yeah, so we, we had to think outside the box on this one. So we do not have two typical centered lights over an island, which is a very common design element, but I love the way it turned out. So instead, we have three centered lights over kind of the cove space, and I think it, it works out well when you're in this space. It really makes sense. But, but for a minute, it was a definite head scratcher for us. We were sitting with the electricians because we, I knew I wanted some type of like a pendant lighting, but uh, just trying to figure out how that was gonna make sense. So one of my favorite things we put, we had it in the butler's pantry at Edgewood and we liked it there, but mm -hmm. I liked the, the GE, the nugget ice mm -hmm. machine in the actual kitchen just because we use it so much. Yeah. So we put it right here. We did put a little panel on it. So everything's paneled here other than the dishwasher. Yeah, we've got pull out trash can. And then we did do. Oh, we did the towel. Yeah. <laughs> did you forget about that? I did, I did. <laughs> paper towel holder right here, which we have at our current home. And then we've got storage behind it for paper towels, which I love. So instead, at our current home, we had the cutting board over top of it. But instead, we have this cutting board, which is attached an extra attachment for our lk sink so i love that I so it's a just, uh, to cut yeah some veggies on there oh, so it's a slideable yeah built-in lip in there and it's yep. always there so. yeah so you can wrench wrench your fruits and veggies over here your cutting board slides in there you can keep it there or you can store it underneath which i which i love and then we opt it because we were looking at marble sinks and I was like, I'm too scared to actually do a marble sink. I want just a good, nice, you know, white sink. So instead we fronted the sink instead of with cabinetry, we fronted it with marble. And I love it. I love the way it turned out. Yeah, we ended up beefing this up. We did kind of a mitered edge just to thicken it up to really make that all flow and, and make sense. And I'm really stoked with how that that I know it looks it looks really good and again it's just easy to clean clean lines 
We've got our cafe, which I love, dishwasher, and just more additional storage over here for cookie sheets. Well, and instead of doing a formal dining room in this house, it has such a pretty view, we wanted to put the dining room on the back side of the house. Yes. So here, this is going to be our dining area. We're actually working with some uh, local Ooh, yeah. carpenters, and they are making us a custom dining room table, which I'm really excited about that, because we're hoping to have something that seats 10 comfortably. Um, and it'll play on, we've done some cool little reading details mm -hmm. between the openings and throughout the house, so we'll have that detail incorporated into the table. Yeah, you really showed off on your trim detail on this house. <laughs> it's like he, he'd been hoarding all these trim ideas uh, up in his brain up there. In, uh, know, we, we struggled on the ceiling crown, but I'm really yeah. pleased with how that turned out with that little detail. Yeah, so we, we have a lot of great trim detail in this home that we're excited to share with you guys. Um, so this is a visual comfort light. It's just an oversized lantern. We opted for one big light. It's by Julie Neal. She's one of my favorite designers down in New Orleans. Um, so I, I'm excited about this space. There's just tons of natural light. We just back up to a wooded area. And, and we, did, we bumped the ceiling up to 11 foot in mm -hmm. here. So we set all the windows and doors at eight foot tall did a 24 inch transom, which still allowed plenty of room for that mill work. And then, and then that takes you out to what will be a screen porch, screen porch. area. Where are you gonna store all your china? Yeah, so on either side of the kitchen, because again, we don't have a ton of uppers, and I do have a- We keep these out of these kitchens. Without uh, the uppers. But we had such a pretty window, and that's why. Uh, I mean, the, well, the arch, the yeah, I love the lighting. So we decided these um, arched, China cabinets. So I'm a collector of dishes. I have a ton of vintage dishes. Your sweet mom gave me her china, and I mean, I just love dishes. So a lot of our dishes will go here that we're not using every day, and then underneath we've got even more storage for kitchen items, and then we have pull-out drawers. So the guys are still working on those. We, those. we will have um, glass shelves, and then those will light up so that all the dishes can be on display. And we simplified the trim just on these built-ins, just from, we had this larger cased opening here, just to give that just a little bit different look, more of a built-in look. Yeah, and you and you use your read it trim here too, yeah. even this even is, in between the great room. I just have to walk by, make sure I have my clean fingers, and clean my fingers off. I know, here. that's what I told him. I was like, well, you know the boys, this is actually like a, a musical instrument or something, um, are gonna make some noise. Do you want to show the mudroom and then yeah. we'll uh, come to a close? Yeah. We get long-winded talking about the kitchen. Yes. So I'll let you show off all your uh, So here's our mudroom. And I, I always love a Dutch door. So there we go. Hey, welcome <laughs> which, to the mudroom. I know. I always wanted to do one for a front door, but that's not very practical. So yeah, this is the mudroom off the kitchen, which takes you back to the garage area. So we've got built-in cubbies. Again, use that sleepy blue, painted all of the cubbies. We've got doors, which I'm gonna add that cane detail if you guys remember, we did that at the Glenview Tudor. Um, so those are gonna get the cane inset detail. And we're gonna have hooks. And I've got this cute little pink blush and blue Caitlin Wilson wallpaper, which I use. So lots and lots of storage, which you can't ever have enough storage, so. And those will have doors on all of those cabinets. That yes. Have the, the mess, so those just aren't quite in yet. Yeah, and I do love to have the mess with doors. Some more of your read it detail that you. Oh yeah, and Jason add. put even more read it detail. I might just change your name to Reed, um, in this house because he just loved it so much. <laughs> I told him it, it, it was interesting, but it all worked out. Well, that's, it's a that's good, tucked it's, away in there. You yes, know, so. and it's a good mix of both of us, I think, on yeah. this first floor. You laugh that it's all about florals and uh, mixing of prints, but there's, there's touches of you. I know. We, we have a good mix of, of both of us in this kitchen. I do love it. I do like yeah. uh, the wallpaper and all the other details. So thanks for taking us through the kitchen today. Awesome. I know you guys are going to be so excited to finally learn what that color is. Yeah. Well, Sleep, is sleepy blue. Sleepy blue and alabaster, right? Yeah, on I'm the axe too. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed a tour through the kitchen. If you like the kitchen, the outside, there's still so much more to show. We've yeah. got a lot of fun new details and just, you know, 
We just love houses and can't wait to share more with yeah, you Yeah, and again, we've, as we do with all our projects, we've really poured our heart and soul into this home. After building so many home, personal homes for ourselves over the years, I think we've finally tweaked what works for us and what floor plan works for us, and this one's I think Gretchen checks all the she boxes. She texted me last night as I was out watering the bushes. She's like, thanks for finally building me my dream home. <laughs> After 14 <laughs> houses or whatever, so anyway. No, we've been uh, blessed to have so many, and yeah. we, we just love it and enjoy it. So we just want to bring you guys along for the journey, and hopefully you feel inspired by some of the things we share. Absolutely. Well, if you want to find more, you can always find Gretchen on Instagram under Gretchen Black. Yes. You can find Jason, me, under Artisan Signature Homes, and together we're building, building a better, better South. South.